So we're gonna go into Sketch. I have a 1920 by 1080 uh, artboard, and what I did here was I just did uh, two diagonals, two red diagonals, from corner to corner, and what we get here is the first intersection, and it's of course the middle. So whatever size of an artboard you have, whether it's this or this, if you take this these lines here, you copy them here and you just fit it, you will get the exact middle of that specific artboard. And this is where the magic happens, guys. So the same grid with the same proportions but on, on different artboards with random sizes. So this is really easy to apply to any artboard, really. And what we want to do now is we want to copy these diagonals, we want to duplicate them, and we're going to do the same thing but from this side, this half to the corner and from this half to the other corner. So you can see now we have another intersection here. So we take this line, we copy it, and we center it on this half. And there we have another intersection. So if we do this enough times, what we'll get is we'll get a boom we'll start to see how this becomes modules smaller and smaller and as you can see here we have more intersections so we can of course do this and start extending this grid as much as we want now I'm, I'm enjoying actually to start to play by ear okay guys so here I have the, the freebie I did uh, it's a golden grid free, uh, grid freebie and you can download it in the links below. Also, I did another freebie with this golden ratio grid. It's called Agatha Vilen template by Bond, and also you'll find it in the links below. So now what I'm going to do is tell you guys a little bit of the process of how I use this grid. So as you can see here, every element on this design fits or has a relationship to the grid. In, in some way or the other. So see for example how this edge is being used to align this line, this paragraph and this miscellaneous, right? Then also I extended the grid so that way I can have like a margin around the page where elements of the navigation can sit and be separated from the border, right? Also well this line fits here. So I think those are the obvious things, right? So you can you can see that uh, by yourselves. But I'm sure you guys might be wondering how is the process to to arrive to these conclusions, right? And to these results. So what I found that is useful for me is I set everything first like I try to set the the size of this title and then the width of this paragraph, the size of the text. I want this line to be crossing this intersection here, the middle of the of the screen, just to give it a, li a little more depth. Then, for example, I could want this rhomboid here to be behind the, the image. I want an image, of course. I set it by ear. And, and say, okay, this is somewhat what I, I would like this to look like, okay? And then I go to the grid and I try to find the proportions that fit into the layout that I was already thinking about, you know? Um, so for example, this typography, I, I normally use um, this scale that we have here, but so this was probably going to be 114 pixels to follow the, the scale, right? So 
I did that and then I found that see this could be fit into this small module and it could have the height of that module right so I, I did it and boom there you have it so I usually try to find a relationship for every element on the page with a grid even here the photograph you can see that um, this is a photo that could could have been used like this for example and why not use it like that because I wanted to use this edge this horizontal edge to align the eye of this girl to the title so I also use it on invisible like alignments and edges right um, so yeah let's see this golden ratio grid you can see how I used this rectangle to fit into this module boom then I used this big typography also to fit into a module one last thing I wanted to show you guys is uh, Ram Sami, hey Ram, he asked me how to um, how how would I go if I if I wanted to include a rounded element here. So it's easy to find edges for the square or rectangle ones. What if we have a circle? So I included here a circle to show you guys how I go, I would go with this. First of all, I draw the circle as I said. I would place it inside this um, this design and give it the the size that I want, and then I turn on the grid. I put this design here, and I try to find a module that fits into this design, into this size. So as you can see here, I found this intersection and this intersections right here so I, I gave the circle that size then what I did was I placed it and I give it an edge here that is in alignment with a grid as well right and of course I also could find a horizontal edge as well to align this but you get the point, right? So if you turn the grid off, then you see the element there and it sits well with text. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any follow-up questions, leave it in the comments below. And if you like my videos and you want to support Bond, sub subscribe and share. Uh, I'll be uploading more videos and freebies and other resources because I'm all about helping you guys bridge the, the, bridge the gap sorry, between where you are and where you want to be. So there's a gap. Let's bridge it. Cheers. <laughs>